Okay guys, you gotta forgive me because I'm a little bit tired and um, I'm gonna force myself to stay focused because I know I wanna share this with you guys, but here we go. Sometimes as a nice guy, one of the things that will screw you up most in conversation with women, or even when you first start talking to them, is just speaking too much. This whole video is about what is the origins behind it? Why do you feel the need to speak so much? Why do you want to? Why is it that when you're in front of a woman, or you're in front of people, because remember women and, 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 and the world is the same, why are you constantly not shutting up? One of the things that this comes from is you being afraid of her walking away. That's a big fear that guys have, so they just wanna keep talking at the woman so that she stays. And women can feel many of the times that, fuck, why, why are you speaking so much? She want to ask you that. I mean, she don't want to be rude sometimes, but that's really what wants to come through. Why are you constantly doing this when you don't even want to? The reason why talking a lot or too much is so bad for you is because you're doing it out of reaction. You're not doing it from a place of, fuck, I just feel so good and to flow right now. That's when a woman goes, I can tell you're excited. But you're doing it from a place of total fear, which means it comes across as nervousness. If it was from a place of clearness, it would come across as excitement. But the fact that it's just coming from a different place from on the inside, the woman will feel very different to it. When it's exciting for you by talking a lot, she just, a lot of times will laugh, a lot of times she will be engaged because she can feel that whatever you're talking about, you're so excited that it's hard for you to take breaks. And this to her looks cute. This to her looks very, very charming at times because she can see that you're just flowing with it and you're just being yourself. But the other side is not from a clear place. It's when you're completely afraid of something. Many of the times you're afraid of her. You're afraid of losing her. You're afraid of her walking away. So you'll just keep going. And you'll keep talking. And when she answers something, you'll cut right in and you'll start talking again because you don't want to leave any spaces because if you leave space, she may walk away. So the whole time, if you think about it, you're trying to save the woman from walking away. So that makes you just keep talking and talking and talking and talking. And for you, it feels so stressful because you know that you don't want to do that, but you feel that something is controlling you. And this is exactly how it feels when we're in front of someone and we're doing things just totally from the nervousness that's inside of us, the fear that we have. It makes us do things. And as it makes us do things, we start to lose energy. See, that's the key. You start to lose energy because you're talking so much. Not from exciting, excitement where you start to gain energy and your energy is going up. With fear, your energy is going down. Because negative energy drains us. And as you're in front of a woman, you feel all this negative energy flowing through you because it's, it's attached to whatever fear you have, you'll start to react to it. And as you start to react to it, your energy will start to go down, 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 down. So everything that the girl do from that moment, you will perceive it in a bad way because that's only negative energy flowing through you in that moment. So the girl goes, uh, you know, I have to go to work. And, and immediately, your process on the inside, because there's negative energy flowing through you, you will go, oh, fuck, she, does, she doesn't like me. Oh, man, fuck, uh, maybe I didn't say something interesting enough. And you start to go into a loop. And that loop just comes from what's happening inside of you. You have to understand that when there's fear inside of you, it's controlling you. And as it's controlling you, you will just do things and you'll be wondering, okay, why isn't this working? Or why isn't she responding the way I want her to? Or why don't I feel good for doing this? You don't feel good because you're doing everything from the wrong place. 
So coming to the clear place on the inside when it comes to a woman being there in front of you and you feeling like fuck, I can feel on the inside that I'm just talking right now because when a guy gets into the community, he starts to become aware of certain things. You'll start to go, fuck, I can feel that I'm talking so much right now just because I'm afraid of this woman walking away. But it's controlling me and I know that I'm doing it, but I'm still doing it as I know that I'm doing it. And the only way out of that is the stepping back from it in the moment. Because you're allowing yourself to know that it's there and step back, but at the same time, you're engaging in it. So you're actually in conflict on the inside because you're engaging in it, but at the same time, you want to step back. And the only thing you can do in that moment is step back in the moment when you're with the girl. Because as you step back, the space between you, between what you actually want to do and what you feel like your fear is making you do, that space in there is now clear. So now you don't have to be engaged in what you don't want to do because you just feel pulled from fear. You're just sitting back and talking, okay, this is what I want to do. I don't want to talk so much. But at the same time, I feel like I want to talk so much. As the clear space is there, you'll be able to dissipate this here because this is the illusion. But the illusion is so fucking strong because it's attached to fear. That's why it's so strong. But if you allow the illusion to drop in the moment by, by completely giving it space, and that is being aware of it, Seeing it for what it is, and I'll teach you the process later of how to become distant from while you're in front of a woman, and letting it go. Because as as you be, as you begin to make that distance inside, now you are able to align with more of what you want to do. Your brain isn't cluttered. You're not cluttered with sensations inside of you, just being the thing that tells you what to do. Now you have a different track you're going to take. And the track now that you're choosing, because remember this is all choice, anytime you're coming from responsiveness or clear space, you have choice. So now from choosing, in the moment you can go, now I want to this woman to speak. I'm done talking. And maybe you feel yourself like on the inside doing like this, because that's the reaction one to come up. And you just allow it to do that. You allow it to come up. Allow those urges to come to the surface. But understand that they're just urges. That's all they are. The impulse is to do something. And as we become less impulsive and more of a person that's choos choosing, you come more from a place of real power when you're around a woman. So you don't have to talk so much when you don't want to. You don't have to talk so much because you feel fear. You can know that the fear is there, but still at the same time, be quiet. Still at the same time, talk less. Because your heart can be thumping. Your knees can be shaking. Your throat can be, can be shaky as well. But if you are, are aware in that moment that you're just focusing on saying what you want to say and not trying to say what you can for her not to leave, then immediately the power starts to roll in. The power that you are, it starts to be manifested. But you can't manifest your power in the moment, which power, what I mean by power, is just your centeredness. You can't manifest centeredness in the moment or allow yourself to be centered if you're simultaneously trying to, if you're simultaneously allowing fear to, to move you. Because once fear moves you, it moves you away from center. Choice puts you in center. space puts you in center so that's one major thing that I would say why you're talking so much when you're around women is because you're just afraid of her walking away another key one of the reason why you're talking so much is because you are afraid of yourself showing something because you will notice as you talk to people or from yourself that the people who talk like this so much and they never ever take breaks, they are afraid of something coming out. They are afraid of something inside of themselves. So the talking has just become a mechanism for them not to have to deal with what's on the inside. So they ramble and ramble and ramble and ramble. And they don't ever have to center. Because the moment that you settle and you center in yourself, the true shit starts to come up. 
and it's like, fuck, I don't want to have to deal with this thing right here, so I'd rather just talk about this. I don't want to have to deal with this thing right here, so I'd rather just talk about this. I don't want to have to deal with the fact right now that I feel tension, so I'm just going to allow the tension on the inside to make me start talking. But when you start to deal with what's happening in the moment, and you don't let the thing just take over you, you will notice that all the talking that you were doing was just an extension of the tension. It was just an extension of the fear as well. And that fear is just, fuck, I don't want to have to reveal this thing. Sometimes a man may talk too much just because he knows that he likes a girl and he don't, he's afraid of showing that part of himself. He would go into, and I used to do this as well. I remember I used to do this back in the day when I was just learning about uh, talking to women on the streets and talking to women in the club. And I would be talking to a woman and on the inside, I would know I want to go for the kiss, but at the same time, we'll just keep doing this. And I'm like, fuck man, I'm, I can feel myself doing this when I, on the inside, I really want to kiss her. So this is not the truth of what I want to do right now. This is just a, a, a manifestation of the tension I feel on the inside. This is why sometimes um, I've, I've seen it and I think this is very, very true. I've seen it somewhere and it was in a magazine or something and a guy said that sometimes he talks to kill the sexual tension or he makes jokes to kill the sexual tension and that's what it is. He's reacting to the tension on the inside of himself so he don't have to deal with the sexual tension. But in the same way in conversation, you're reacting to your tension so you don't have to deal with something inside of yourself coming out. In the undoing of that process it's the same thing that I told you before it is that you have to get space on the thing that you're reacting to you have to get space on it in the moment and I've, as I told you so many times please everything that I do comes from breathing differently my whole life is different like this and I can see things like this and my track very clearly because of breathing differently aka meditation this has changed everything for me not saying that when I became meditative I became amazing with women no it's not that but I'm saying that in this process becoming not becoming being awareness allows me to see what's going on on the inside of me and on the inside of a woman or the inside of people because I'm because the more that I settle as stillness as awareness I can now see the things above the surface so if you think about it it's like this you start to settle within yourself but the chaos is above and the more you settle within yourself you can clearly from your settled place see the chaos for what it is but when you're not settled and you're somebody who's just one with the chaos, you will believe that the chaos is you. When you're actually as you are and the chaos is just happening through you. That's just something to give you guys this floweriness. Um, in another video, I'll talk about learning that process because that's the way that I've learned it. And everything that happens inside of me now, I can see it now as chaos and not as that's who I am. Coming back to it, reactivity inside of yourself, tension, which is the same thing as it's along the lines of reactivity. Reactivity is actually from tension. Noticing it is the act of holding space to it allowing yourself to see it for what it is. Now this may be very difficult when you're starting out because anybody who started out in any journey when it comes to being a person that's more meditative, a person that's more one with life, anybody started out as not knowing their own chaos. They, they didn't know it. They were only, they were one with it. But the more aware they became, the more they became, um, the more they start being awareness, the more they start seeing it for what it is. You need, to not, you need to start to see why am I talking so much? 
because I know that the talking so much will make her leave. She's, women have been into me, but fuck, I start always just talking so much and they left. But I'm so afraid to stop talking because if I stop talking, that means that what if she start walking away or what if she knows that I like her and fuck, what if it's not the right time for me to show her that I like her? Confusion. The process of going through and feeling like fuck. I want to do the thing, but I'm controlled by something. Something that's controlling me. That is actually the frustration on the inside. As a man, when you're in front of a woman, you just feel like you're controlled by something you don't have control over it. And the control over it is just you being able to see it for what it is so you can see that, that I'm actually not that. That's just something that's happening through me and it's making me do things. But I'm not that. I'm not a man who speaks so much. When I'm alone with myself, because I like, the reason I know this because when I'm with myself, I have little conversations and as I'm having these little conversations, I just totally feel relaxed. But I think back to when I was by myself and I would have these little conversations, I would be like, why the fuck, why the fuck can I not do this in front of a chick? I'm so afraid of just shutting up because that means that something will arise. Something different will arise. In space, two people can really see the truth of each other. So many of the times when two people are talking, they, don't really, they can't really see the truth of each other. When two people shut up though, they'll absolutely see the truth of each other. That's why in the moment when you're with a woman and you be quiet, truth starts to arise bodily. It starts to arise in you. But if you're afraid of showing something, what will happen is that you'll look away, you'll start talking, you'll start doing all kinds of shit. But when you're totally unafraid of what's inside of you and you allow yourself to just show, you will notice that the calm will come in. The settling will come in. And that's just because you start to become quiet. And I'm not talking about just quiet like this, but quiet on the inside. Because as you become quiet on the inside, the manifestation of that is knowing. That is the manifestation of being quiet on the inside. Because right now you're like, fuck, I know that I want to say something right now, so I'm going to say it. I feel that there's a reaction coming up inside of me. And I know if I say something right now, she's not getting the truth of me. She's just getting my reaction. This is the process. This is the stepping back that I'm talking about. So, talking so much is stem to something that's a fear. It's never stem from a clear place unless excitement comes out of that. That's the two grounds with this. When it's excitement, it's grounded because it's totally in fuck. I just feel good for saying this. But when it's nervousness, you may even look excited, but at the same time, underneath it's nervousness and that's how it'll come across it'll it'll come across as oh fuck dude just just calm down instead of when it's true excitement you woman is just like rolling with you and she feels the energy rolling out of you so what can you guys continue from this point right now how can you guys continue forgive me this is what i would say when you feel in the moment when you're with the girl because I'm going to teach you the stepping back now when you feel you're in the moment with the girl and you feel like you got to talk you feel like the, the, the urge is coming up or you feel like fuck the sensation is so strong right now because this woman is just staring at me and, and it feels like she's expecting me to talk what I want you to do is that I want you to just bring your awareness down to your feet just bring it there the moment the urge come up, bring it back down. And I want you to bring it down to the deepest part of yourself, or the part that's the lowest, which is your feet. Because as the urge comes up this way, and you bring it all the way back down, the, 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 the time for it to come back up is enough time for you to be able to really see it, really know what's happening. But that's why I wouldn't tell you to just take a deep breath, because if you take a deep breath, you might, your awareness might still be here. So that means that when you, when you, take, when you do the uh, exhale, 
the awareness may come straight back up to your mind and then you may f start fucking like, oh shit, it's this, this, and this, and that. No, when you feel the urge coming up, bring it all the way back down to your feet. Bring it to the lowest part of your body because the time for it to go there all the way back up, it can, of course, it's a split second. It's not like three seconds. No, it's like, it, it's like a split second, but that is enough time for you to notice. That is more than enough time because if you are aware that you're somebody who speaks fast and you do this, when you bring your awareness down through your feet, you will notice immediately clear, clarity comes in. Clarity just hits in very quickly and you'll start to understand, fuck, I don't have to react to this because the clarity itself feels so good. Clarity feels amazing because clarity stems from this moment. And one of the things that you want so much of women that you speak to is to be present with her. You don't want to speak so much. You, will, you are more happy, satisfied, and in love with being present to a woman more than you are speaking so much. And if you're not, what I would say is, for your own journey, fall in love with being present to a woman. And that process of being present to her is a bitch sometimes. Because you're dealing with her fears sometimes. I Meaning like you're in the uh, midst of her fears as she's going through it. And sometimes that could be heavy for you. You're dealing with your own. Absolutely. You're dealing with the thing that you're working on. Because if this is something that you're just starting out at or you've been doing it for a while and you're still learning certain things. You're dealing with the thing that you're working on. And at the same time, you're dealing with bringing your awareness back down. That's a lot of shit for you to be working on. Yeah, man, it can be heavy sometimes for you. But the thing that fucking knocks out everything is the awareness. That knocks out everything because that's where everything stems from. It stems from this baseline of just stillness. That stillness that you come from allows you to see. It allows you to be clear. It gives you clarity. Because in that moment, what you really want is the, clear, the clarity of expressing something. Not the confusion. Because right now, you're in confusion on the inside. You're in total conflict. And as you're in total conflict, there's no clarity. So this would be the process. I see the woman. And I walk up to her and maybe I'll give her the compliment that I want to give her. And in the moment, I feel like, fuck, okay, what do I say next? Okay, what do I do? What I want you to do in that moment, is just keep your eyes on her and bring your awareness all the way back down to your feet. Taking into account that you're being aware of your breath as well. Because that's the only way you're gonna be able to bring your awareness back down is your breath anyway. So with your breath, bring your awareness back down you're still breathing, your awareness is in your feet. And maybe it comes back up, because I don't want you to be perfect at this. I don't want you to try to be perfect at this. Just keep doing it until it becomes a repetition. Excuse me. <coughs> Shit. As it comes up. With your breath. Yeah. Bring it back down to your feet. And maybe you're going through a lot of shit. Maybe you start sweating. Maybe you like, the girl definitely thinks I'm weird right now. Let her think you weird because what, is, what are you doing in that moment is that you're teaching yourself something and maybe it comes across weird. But you need for it to come across weird at first because you gotta teach yourself. It's better to do that <clears throat> and be perceived as weird than continuously talk too much and never get it. Because as you do it and you start to see it and you're like, fuck, this is not weird, this is just natural. Thank you. There we go. It's just natural. And as you start to do that and it becomes natural to you, then maybe she looks at you weird, but then you notice that, fuck, she's just looking at me weird. So now her looking at you weird doesn't affect who you are. You just notice that she's looking at you weird, and that's on her. This process of learning this will give you so much insight into yourself. Because you'll notice that these things that you're learning, they're giving you incredible breakthroughs in yourself. But you will notice how much your self-esteem, 
with whatever that is, you know, actually I don't want to say that, you'll notice how much the worthiness you feel of yourself is tied to what the girl is doing, what she's saying, in relation to what you're doing. You're like, fuck, the girl is perceiving me like this. Okay, that means that this, and that means I'm not worthy. You'll notice that once you start to strip that away, you'll notice that worthiness is only self-induced. And that you're already worthy, whether you know it or not. Worthiness is not do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, then worthy. There's no track to worthiness. Worthiness is who you are, whether you believe you are or you don't believe you are. And if you really want to know about self-worth, I would say my understanding of it is better now. I have a video called Discovering Your Self-Worth that you guys can go check out. That's the process, the stepping back. And as you learn to step back more and more, you step back totally. And anything that you see from here on, when you start to step back totally, meaning like this is far down your path, once you step back totally, or at the level you're at, you start to notice that, fuck, how did I let all those things affect me? And it becomes humor to you. Right now, it may feel like, fuck, this is who I am. But once you step back, it becomes funny. It becomes like, fuck, I was dead. And you, you just, you look at it with like, I can't believe that I used to do that. And that's just you also understanding that, fuck, look, this is how far I've come. And you're not done. Remember I told you in my last video, you're never not working towards naturalness. Naturalness is also always something that you're allowing. And as you allow yourself to be natural, 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 unnaturalness fades away. So you start to see yourself totally as natural. And if you guys want to know much more about this, understand that I have a product coming out June 23rd. And this is where you'll start to understand what does it mean for me as a man to be in myself, to be present to the woman, to hold space that I talk about so wonderfully in my product because this is the, to me the greatest thing a man can do for a woman. In conversation, in the bedroom, whatever it may be, is hold the space for her to be all that she is. But you talking so much is not holding the space at all. I love you guys, and I hope you got a lot from this video. Forgive me for my tiredness. I worked through it the best way I could. There's moments where I got really, really passionate, and then it's like, now I'm back down to normality. I feel like, fuck, I'm still tired. Step back and notice. This will give you the clarity you want, and this will make women stay there with you more. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know, I'm always giving you something new. And it's also something new that I want to give you. I've created a video series which is Approach to Bedroom. And I'll be showing you everything from what do you say upon an approach, not what to say, but how you can say what you want to say, and being able to have the mindsets to go with that, being able to be in conversation, being able to take the woman home. And along this path, just giving you insights into things that may pop up to give you issues. I've covered it in this video series that, you know, packed full of about three hours of me just giving you guys everything that I can say is going to be the best from approach to bedroom. If you want this, it's totally free. If you want this, click the link below and what will happen is that you'll get a video series sent right to you and check it out. Until next time, I'm out.